Yesi es Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana yes. Last year during the campaigns, William Ruto and leaders supporting him successfully managed to convince some Kenyans that Uhuru Kenyatta was a devil who was out to punish them. One year down the line, some of these Ruto's allies are now making U-turns. They are now saying Uhuru Kenyatta was right. I want us to listen to Nakuru governor, Susan Kiheka. The governor made some remarks today, remarks that confirms the serious confusion in Kenya Kwanzaa government. Listen to this before we continue. I agree with the Secretary General. It's been a bit concerning when we see our members taking to the podiums and actually going against party positions. You know, when I was fired myself by the then president Uhuru Kenyatta from being the chief whip of the Senate, deep in my heart, I knew he was right. Do you know why I knew he was right? There is no way I could have been his whip as the whip of the party, the government. So even here, you cannot be a UDA or Kenya Kwanzaa party member, positions uh, may be elected, nominated, or whatever, and then take the podium and go against the party leader or the party positions. That is unacceptable. What's happening here, ladies and gentlemen? The governor made those remarks in front of Cleophas Malala, order secretary... General. Earlier on, Malala had threatened to discipline some Kenya Kwanzaa leaders not towing the party's line. And that is so because in the recent days, we have been seeing more and more Kenya Kwanzaa leaders distancing themselves from this Kenya Kwanzaa government. The recent one being Kapenguri, a member of parliament, who went further to even apologize to Kenyans for having supported and voted for William Ruto. Most of these Kenya Kwanzaa leaders, their support for Kenya Kwanzaa government seems to be growing cold each passing day. That's what made Malala threaten some disciplinary action after which the governor spoke the way she did. Listening to the governor, the governor is trying to kill two birds with the same stone. First of all, by saying that Uhuru Kenyatta was right. She's saying that she knew inwardly that Uhuru Kenyatta was right. She's just trying to absolve Uhuru Kenyatta from all the blames that were laid against him by these Kenya Kwanzaa leaders, including William Samoy Ruto. And that is deliberate by the governor because the ground, the mountain ground, is very unpredictable as I speak. You cannot tell or say where the mountain ground currently lies. So to be on the safe side, the governor is trying to absolve Uhuru Kenyatta from, from all the blames in order to have some sympathy from Uhuru Kenyatta supporters on the ground. And I'm saying that because, again, in the recent days, we have been seeing some residents of the mountain nostalgic of Uru Kenyatta's rule. And some have actually been apologizing for having not heeded to Uru Kenyatta's advice not to support Ruto. So the governor is trying to 
endear herself to that constituency. And also by saying that elected leaders should toe the party's line, the good governor is also trying to prove it to William Ruto again that she's still loyal to the party. And that's meant to also appease William Ruto's diehards on the ground. So the governor is trying to kill two birds with one stone trying to appease Uhuru Kenyatta supporters and at the same time trying to appease William Ruto supporters. And that's, that exposes the confusion in Kenya Kwanzaa government. And the confusion is majorly because William Ruto has failed to deliver. So the ground is somehow undecided. Secondly, the sentiments by the governor confirms beyond any reasonable doubt that William Ruto and his foot soldiers got power through propaganda and falsehood. They were voted for simply because of lies and propaganda. And I'm saying that because a hoping majority of those who supported William Ruto believed what Ruto and his team were saying that Uru Kenyatta was a devil, somebody who was just out to punish them. So Ruto got power through propaganda and lies. And that's what I've always maintained here, that Ruto never got power through the right, or rather, Ruto never got power the right way. So to sustain his rule and to maintain his rule, he'll still need that propaganda to survive. The only unfortunate bit about it is that Kenyans have now realized what's happening. Kenyans have realized that Ruto has been lying to them. And that's why any time William Ruto tries lying, he's quickly being exposed. So unless he changes his strategy, I don't think that propaganda tactic will work this time around. William Ruto must look for another strategy. But again, looking at William Ruto, he clearly does not have any other strategy. All his political antiques and maneuvers have all come to dead ends. That's why we might be staring at a one-term president in William Samoy Ruto. As I conclude, the governor's remarks also goes on to confirm that the ground is now not interested in lies anymore. The truth has to be said. The governor might have just realized that the ground now knows where the truth lies. So the governor is just trying to align herself with the ground. Lies and propaganda no longer sells. And very soon, we might see some of these leaders who supported William Ruto dumping him. And I won't even be wrong to say that even this Sakuru governor is soon dumping William Ruto. These are leaders who speak one thing today, tomorrow they are speaking a completely different thing. This is a potential candidate to dump William Ruto. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Any other person who may want to support our forum, contact me through that number below. For those sending their support, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for all the support. Let's meet 
in our next analysis. Thank you.